Welcome back guys, this is Symphony and today I'll be talking about Monster Summoning and Monster Summon Negation. So let's begin. There are two types of Monster Summons, Inherent Summons and Summons by Card Effect. Let's begin with Inherent. Inherent happens only during your main phase, so main phase 1 or 2, and a condition must be met in order for the summon to happen. Something like Black Luster Soldier, a dark and a light must be removed from your graveyard in order to summon it. Something like Caius, it is a tribute summon, but the condition is that your normal or tribute has not yet been used. Cyber Dragon, just that you control no monsters. And then also, Xyz monsters, the condition is that just as long as you have the two materials and you overlay them, or a synchro, uh, where you have a tuner and a non-tuner, or how many non-tuners and tuners it requires, and that you send them to the grave in order to bring out these monsters. Those are all inherent, they do not start a chain. How do you negate these? There's a good Thunder King Ryo, great strong um, side deck choice, not as good as when it was at 3, but still really strong. This will negate inherent summons by tributing itself. There is Black Horn of Heaven, which is free, but only on special summons. And there's Horn of Heaven, which uh, hits both the normal and the special summons but as long as you contribute one card. Again, all these are only for inherent, so like this would, Kai's would be like an inherent normal summon, BLS would be an inherent special summon. Uh, then there's summon by card effects. Something like Light Pulse Dragon, this is how it's different in BLS, that it says you can special summon it, you not, you must, meaning that it is an effect and starts a chain. Or something like Pyramid Turtle, that when it's destroyed by battle and saved to the graveyard, you can summon a monster with 2000 or less defense from your deck, something like your Endless Decay. Uh, your Gorse, Gorse happens during the damage step, it's not during the main phase, so you know uh, it instantly that it's not inherent. And its, its effect actually summons a token. So not only does it have the effect to summon itself, but also a token. And, much like all fusions, they are all uh, summoned by card effects because you have to use something like Miracle Fusion, Polymerization, Super Polymerization. Uh, the only exception to this is something like Contact Fusion. So if you use Neos and all that stuff, but I mean, who plays that anyways, right? I'm just kidding. Um, also summoned by a card effect like Magical Dimension. Even though it's not bringing out something from the extra deck, it is still summoned by a card effect because you uh, you are using Magical Dimension to summon it. Same thing with Magician's Circle. How would you stop these? Well, if it's a monster that is summoning, summoning it, something like Divine Wrath or Medulce Knights will stop it. So this will stop something like Pyramid Turtle, uh, Mystic Tomato, all those Mother Grizzly and you know the summoning ones, Shining Angel. If it's a card, right now, best choice, Dark Ride. Dark Bride will stop any of these spells, and that means the monsters will not be summoned. And always, Solemn Warden. This is your go-to everything. This will stop special, normal, inherent, and card effects. But here is something very critical that I want to point out, and I see this happen so many times. Let's say somebody has like a Pyramid Turtle, and I attack into it. It goes into the grave. Many players will wait for... Uh, the other player to bring out their monster and then flip over the Solemn Ward. That is an illegal move. That is way too late to activate uh, something like Solemn Ward. Because it is being summoned by a card effect, meaning that it's not inherent, and you cannot just summon it, uh, you cannot negate at the summon. So if something like Pyramid Turtle activates, you must respond to Pyramid Turtle with Solemn Warning, meaning your Endless Decay stays in your deck. Uh, same thing with the Fusion. If somebody activates Miracle Fusion and banishes their monsters, it is way, uh, if, if you let them go, they banish your monsters, it's way too late for you to flip over something like Solemn Warning. Because once the monster is out, it's too late uh, to, to activate the Solemn Warning. So just remember that. Don't try to be greedy and say, I will not only take out uh, the monster that, that they use, but also hit that one monster that they bring out because that is an illegal play. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a comment, rating, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.